And what's good, YouTube? This your boy, Coach Dante, in the building, man, for uh, the recap of day five of the Houston Texans training camp, man. Appreciate you guys for showing the love, showing that support. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting me on the videos, especially the Houston Texans fans in the comment section. Shout out to my boy Matthew Biggins and my boy Crenshaw Crin Crin Fifth Ward. Shout out to you and shout out to V as well. I was on this show uh, earlier yesterday, later, uh, late yesterday. And make sure y'all go sub up to them guys over there as well. I will put their link in the description box uh, below, man. So big shout out to those guys, man for showing that love, showing that support, and having me on the show to talk some training camp, Houston, Texas training camp. Uh, let's talk some uh, day five, man. Let's talk some like some day five of news and updates for some of you guys that don't really know what's going on in Houston, Texas training camp. Uh, so we're going to go with – we're going to start off uh, right now with uh, day five uh, right here. Uh, first of all, Farrell Brown has been very, very good. Farrell Brown and Jordan Brevin Jordan has been very, very good uh, in training camp. Farrell Brown has looked good in training camp, uh, uh, except for, you know, he's having uh, bad drops. He's been having some bad drops uh, in training camp as well. So, uh, But he has had a very good training camp as well. Uh, Chris Conley, very, very not so good in training camp. Chris Conley. Right here hasn't flashed anything uh, more than uh, the uh, routine catches, routes to go with bad drops. So he's having a not having a so good training camp. Uh, he's having an inconsistent training camp. Uh, we we got Chester Rogers though from the Indianapolis Colts. I think that's a good pickup. Uh, we we don't we don't have a good uh, slot receiver. We don't have we know we're not good at slot receiver right now. Uh, and the team is baffled by, you know, the uh, leukemia, the uh, cancer by uh, the cancer uh, by John Mechie and, you know, the GM and Nick Casario and those guys are not impressed with the after John Mechie kind of went down. They're not impressed with the slot receiver or position. So they went out and got Chester Rogers. And I see kind of why that um, Chester Rogers showed up with fresh legs. Couple videos uh, on the timeline for Chester Rogers. Um we got uh, Chris Moore. Chris Moore, again, continues to be very, very good. Chris Moore uh, has caught everything for the most part and has made has made it look routine. So Chris Moore has been good. Connor Winnington has been smooth and route running and catches. Jalen uh, Jalen Camp, uh, my boy Crenshaw was talking about it on, uh, on the stream as well, has a uh, show well. Has showed well on multiple days. Uh, has showed well on multiple days. Philip Dorsett's speed uh, will be will help uh, open the offense up. Damian Pierce has just been a beast in training camp, man. Damian Pierce has just been very, very good in training camp uh, so far. Uh, so right now, those of y'all guys that don't know our receivers right here, Brandon Cooks, Nico Collins, Chris Moore, Chester Rogers, Connor Winnington, uh, we got uh, Philip Dorsett and Jalen Camp and Jalen Cam right there. Uh, Brevin Jordan has also been good. Uh, you got Mario Addison making some plays out there on the defensive side, and plus uh, Ross Blacklock. Ross Blacklock also been making some plays on the defensive side of the ball. Ross Blacklock. Um, uh, Mario Addison uh, was behind uh, the play as the uh, defensive line was going was going through some drills, was going through some uh, drills, uh, spend the most of the time work uh, working with Ross Blacklock technical uh, te uh, technical. So he's been working with Ross Blacklock a lot. That is good leadership. Kyle Allen had a, a atrocious day yesterday. The guy had a very very terrible day. Was just atrocious in training camp. Kyle Allen uh, had his worst day in uh, camp by far. Looks very looks uh, look had he had looked very sharp for the most uh, leading into today. He had he was he was all over the place today. Routine miss uh, open guys said that said five days. Five days in, most of what he shown 
was consistency. So besides yesterday, he was been he has been consistent. Blake Cashman uh, forced uh, pressure on Josh Allen on uh, Kyle Allen uh, one play, allowing it to be to uh, allowing it up by pick pick picking uh, Allen on the very next play. So he did pick Allen the very next play. Uh, in zone coverage, in red zone coverage, Davis Mills uh, picks a part. Uh, multiple coverage uh, plays, hits Cooks and Farrell Brown in the end zone. Uh, the de- basically defense has been very, very uh, soft, been very, very soft. Uh, Davis Mills was able to pick him apart, and also he's been throwing some uh, check downs as well, throwing some check downs as well. Uh, let's go back. Uh, up. I saw uh, this interesting quote by Nico Collins as well. It was an interesting quote on Nico Collins as well. He's showing some improvement. Nico Collins starting to show some improvement as well. Uh, he's been having, I was talking about him. He's been having some inconsistencies with the drop passes, with the drop passes as well. But uh, today showed more confidence for Nico Collins. Uh, Tuesday, yesterday, strong Strong performance booster, Nico confidence today. Um, early in camp, Nico fought himself on catching today, and he caught the ball naturally. So uh, right now, uh, Nico Collins has been on and off in training camp, but he's starting to gain more confidence. Uh, Kyle Allen had his worst day yesterday. Uh, let's just hope uh, they can continue to pick it up, and let's hope they can uh, these guys uh, continue to improve. But Davis Mills is looking very, very good. Uh, Farrell Coop, Farrell Brown, and uh, Reverend Jordan is looking very solid. Damian Pierce is looking like he's going to be a beast. Jalen Petrie has even been, been very, very good as well. Ever since we put on the helmet and pass, uh, Christian Harris has been making some plays out there as well. But uh, that's the end of the uh, Texans recap of day five of training camp. Comment, like, and subscribe down below what you guys think of this video. And let me know in the comment section if you're a Texans fan, what, what guy is catching your eyes right now in training camp. Thank you, guys. Much love. Much respect. I'm out. Good morning. Peace out, you.